In the old days, when a buyer and seller agreed on a real estate transaction, they shook hands and that was good as gold. Unfortunately, those days are long gone. Today we get it in writing and we execute a contract, but even that might not be enough. Even if you have a contract, what's to prevent a seller to cut you out of the deal and sell the property to someone else? And if you're a wholesaler and that hasn't happened to you yet, you haven't been wholesaling long enough. The good news is there's a way to prevent that from ever happening. So on today's video, we're covering wholesaling houses and the four steps to how to prevent the buyer or seller from cutting you out, coming up. Hi, it's Jerry Norton and as a wholesaler, there are three special moments when doing a deal. The first is when you sign a contract with a motivated seller. The second is when you sign a contract with your cash buyer. And the third is the best moment of all, and that's when the deal closes and you get a big fat check for your wholesale fee. Well, the worst moment for a wholesaler is after you sign a contract with a seller and then later find out once it's too late that the seller didn't honor his or her contract with you and sold the property to someone else. Now you may be thinking, he can't do that, that's illegal. And you can sue him, which is true. You could sue for breaching your contract, but really, are you gonna pay an attorney thousands of dollars and invest all of that time, energy, and effort? Probably not. Now there are two scenarios where this would happen and a very easy solution to prevent it from ever happening, which I'll break down on this video. But first, if we've never met, I'm Jerry Norton and this channel is dedicated to helping you make money right now in real estate, not later, not in 10 or 20 years, not even in three to five years, but right now so that you can achieve true financial freedom and live your dream life. Consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Now scenario one where a seller could go around you and sell to someone else is after contracting with you, someone else offers a higher price. Rather than honoring the contract already in place with you, the seller contracts with a new higher buyer and sells it to them instead of you. The second scenario is when your cash buyer talks directly to the seller and they work out a side deal and they cut you, the wholesaler, out of the transaction. Now this is more likely to happen when the property is occupied and the seller is present when your cash buyer does their walkthrough of the property. Many wholesalers worry about their cash buyer having any direct communication with the seller. One way to prevent that from happening when a seller is living in the home is to always be present when a cash buyer is meeting at the property. Then you as the wholesaler can be the buffer and you can make sure that the seller and the cash buyer aren't cutting you out of the deal. But even that isn't foolproof because the cash buyer could come back later when you're not there. Now it's terrible that this is even a discussion that we have to have, but unfortunately there are dishonest sellers and dishonest cash buyers. As a real estate investor and wholesaler, always hold yourself to a higher standard. Be sure to watch this video about how to flip houses with high integrity and high ethics. Now the good news is all of this can easily be prevented and allow you to not worry about a shady seller or cash buyer by using a document called an affidavit and memorandum of agreement. Now here are the four steps to using this document to prevent anyone from ever going around you. Step one is first get a fully executed purchase and sale agreement. And if you you'd like to use my purchase and sale agreement, I'll provide a download link in the description and you can have it for free. Step two is to notarize and sign the affidavit and memorandum of agreement form. It's a simple one page document that puts the public on notice that you have an equitable interest in the property. It states that you have a contract in place to purchase the property, has the address, the closing date, and you attach your contract as exhibit A to this document. Now what's great is the seller doesn't have to sign it. Step three is once signed and notarized, you take that document to your local county assessor's office and you have it recorded. Now it may cost you 25 or 50 bucks. Step four, once recorded, if the seller tries to sell the property to someone else, the closing escrow title or attorney company will do a title search and guess what will pop up in that search? Your recorded affidavit and memorandum of agreement. The title company will see there's already a contract to sell the property to you and they won't do a closing without a release from you. Now this will block the seller from being able to sell it to anyone else. The seller will have no choice but to sell it to you. And I'll tell you what, if you promise to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'll give this to you for free. Just click the link in the description and you can download it there for free. So now that you know how to do this, you can either make this a standard practice with every deal that you do, and this will give you that peace of mind, but at least be sure to always do this when working with an off-market seller who is living in the property. There's too much opportunity for him to talk to your cash buyers who will be doing site visits and possibly talking to the seller. Now, having contracts to protect is a good problem to have. 
So I want you to watch this next video where I show you a software that finds every motivated seller lead in the country. Having good leads is the name of the game. The more leads you have, the more deals you'll do, and the more money you'll make. So go watch that video now. And remember, it's not about the money. It's about having the time and freedom to be, do, have, and give everything that matters in life. That's what it's all about. And I'll see you on the next video.